Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's fitness vlog, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my new gym bag and also share some Amazon gym essentials. And afterwards, I want to show you guys one of my leg day workouts and how I structure my leg days so you guys can get an idea of what I do for my leg days and I just thought it would be fun to have sort of like a fitness vlog type of video. I want to film more fitness vlogs for you guys because I love going to the gym and it's a big part of my life and I do want to share that with you guys. So if you guys like those sort of videos, let me know in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get on to what's in my gym bag. For the longest time, I used this old Adidas duffel bag as my gym bag which is totally fine i used it for over a year and it was good but because i didn't really like it that much sometimes i would bring it and sometimes i wouldn't bring it to the gym and then that would make me forget a lot of my things so i finally just splurged not even splurged not that expensive but i finally just bought a new gym bag and has motivated me so much to bring it every day to the gym and i love it because it's so cute so i'll show you guys what it looks like and everything that i show you guys will be linked down below or i'll let you guys know where i got it from so this is the gym bag it's from gymshark and it's this beautiful like blue gray type of color like a sky blue it's honestly so cute. I kind of don't remember how much it was. I think it was under 50 though. And I'll show you guys some of the detailings on it. It has one big compartment in the middle and it has really nice looking zipper cover things. And that's in the middle. And then it has one side pocket where you can put your shoes or anything else in there. And then one mesh pocket right here. So the main pocket is pretty wide and you can open it up and then it's just kind of flat. So it's one of those gym bags that holds its shape, which is nice. And when you open it up, it's kind of just one big compartment and then there's multiple little pockets inside and then a zipper pocket. So that's kind of like how many pockets there are in the gym bag. Something else I really love about the design is the Gymshark um, straps. And you can hold it like this and then it looks like this. Oh, it looks really pretty. And then I really appreciate this thick shoulder strap. It's a very nice and thick material and you can see it. It's very thick. And what I really love about it, but might be a con for other people, is how short the strap is. You can't extend it, so this is how short it is. I'm only 4'11", so this is like the perfect length for me. Usually duffel bags are way too long, even on the shortest adjustment. So I kind of like this one, and it's kind of like a different style where it's shorter. So just keep that in mind, but you can also carry it like this really comfortably which I do sometimes. So I'm gonna just start off on the outside. So on this pocket, I don't keep anything. You can put like shoes or like your dirty clothes in there. I think that's what it's made for. I don't think my shoes would fit in here to be honest. I think you can fit shoes, but it'd be very tight. It might be just more for like sweaty clothes that you throw in there after or like towels or something. I just don't use it. Let's start off on what's inside. So I have this mesh pocket here that I was telling you guys about. So inside that pocket, because it has easy access, I leave a claw clip. So this one is just from Amazon. I usually tie my hair at home anyway before the gym, but this is just in case I forget or I feel like clipping up my hair instead of tying it. And then as I'm going to the gym, I keep my keys in here as well. So my car is a push to start and sometimes I just throw my keys into my old gym bag. Like in the past, I would just throw it in there. And then when I would come home to unlock my door, I had to like scramble to find it. So this is really nice because it's just on the outside and you just grab it really quickly so in the main compartment i put all of my amazon gym essentials that i'll link down below for you guys and it's really good for anyone starting out and not sure about what things you need to bring to the gym some of these things i feel like not everyone needs it kind of just depends on your goals and of course no one needs any equipment to go to the gym all you have to do is go to the gym but these are just the things that i use that i find helpful well i guess this one you kind of need this one I have my headphones. I love them so much. I splurged on getting these headphones after using my janky AirPod generation ones for so long. And this has changed the game for me because of the noise canceling. I just love it so much. I feel like I am in my own world at the gym. When I go to the gym, I can just zone out and listen to music. And truly like the noise canceling really helps me do this. So these are the Sony xm4s i think they are the second newest generations so this is what it looks like i love them so much and i like how you can fold them i feel like this color just matches my vibe perfectly and i just love it 
so much and then out of everything that i have in here i think you do need this if you're trying to do hip thrust or trying to grow your glutes so this is a barbell pad there's a lot of different modifications or types on amazon so kind of just pick the one that you feel fits you best and if you're curious about how to use these things just stick around for the end of the video when i show you guys my full leg day workout you'll see me using majority of these things but this is what i use for hip thrusting if you're just starting out and you don't know if you want to prioritize hip thrust though i'm pretty sure every gym has a barbell pad that you can just ask the front desk for so the next thing and the last thing i have in the main pocket is something i feel like you don't really need depending on what your gym has but i just got it because i want to have my own so I got an ankle attachment for the cable this one looks like this it's just all black and has this like fit girl not really my vibe but this is like the only one that I found that's black I think or I don't know I think it had good reviews I don't remember so definitely not an essential in my eyes but something that I recently got to kind of just like make my workouts go by quicker okay so we're finally getting into what's in all the little pockets so I have one big pocket that's like a zipper and I kind of keep things in there that I don't necessarily need all the time so I have things that you might need at the gym just in case like in an emergency type of situation I have pads a lot of pads I have a little mini deodorant this one's just the dove one I think it smells like cucumbers it's like very refreshing i just have this just in case i forget to put on deodorant in the morning usually i don't forget that's why it's in the zipper pocket because i never forget but just in case because there's nothing worse than that and then the last thing i have in there i just have like a little extra body spray this smells really good i think a lot of people were obsessed with this smell on tiktok for a while just keep that along and these two are gonna keep me smelling good i have some wrist straps these are really good in my opinion i think they have really good reviews on amazon they're really easy to use what i did was just search it up on tiktok and see how people do it from like a pov perspective these have helped me so much especially with my rdls because i can push kind of heavy weight on that but it only happened because i have these wrist straps i was stuck on 30s for a while because my wrist would hurt a lot and these have helped me so so much so aside from those three things the bottle pad the ankle attachment and then the wrist straps that's kind of all i use for the gym to be honest everything else in the gym bag is kind of just like my own personal things so in one of the other mesh pockets i have sunglasses these are from urban and i keep them with my wallet this one's just from kate spade i just keep them together so that when i go out on the weekends i can just pull it out of the gym bag pocket specifically for it and then throw it in my purse that i'm using to go out so i keep these two together i have gum and then i also have floss in that pocket i have two different kinds these are the ones that um you use kind of like to like poke your mouth <laughs> your teeth but then this one's just like the regular floss i don't really like this kind this is like satin floss it's so weird i don't like it but because i don't use this at home i just keep that in there just in case so i have those two things and then i have a couple more things i have like three lip products in here um i have a chapstick for when my lips are actually like dry so this one's from burt's bees i have two elf lip products these are the hydrating core lip shine in two different colors this is my favorite color these are really good i really like them they're very really natural and then the last thing i have is some eye drops because i do wear contacts so i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what i keep in my gym bag and maybe you got some inspiration for what you want to add to your gym bag or maybe you want to get this gym bag because it's so cute and now i'm going to show you guys my full leg day workout i filmed every single workout that i do on one of my leg days and i'm going to explain why i chose every workout so before we get into my leg day workout i just wanted to say by no means am i a fitness influencer at all or do i have perfect form so if you're looking to learn proper and correct form this is not the video i would youtube someone that's like you know advanced in the lifting stage i wanted to show you guys what i do and how i structure my workouts and kind of explain the different workouts that i do on my leg day but yeah i'm by no means a fitness influencer so just keep that in mind with my form and i'll show you guys everything that i do in my leg day so I start off all my leg days with a dynamic stretching and I make sure to prioritize 
One, opening up my hip flexors and then also stretching out my hamstrings. Because dynamic stretching involves a lot of motion, I feel like stretching this way also helps me warm up properly in the morning when it's really cold. And it's kind of an alternative to walking on the treadmill because when I stretch this way, I feel my body warming up and it really helps before I hit some heavy compound movements. So I really recommend doing some dynamic stretching before you start any leg day. After all my stretching, it's time for the worst part about hip thrusts, especially if you work out by yourself, which is the setup. So I'm gonna try to explain what I'm doing it as I'm doing it, but it might look kind of confusing. So I already have 145 on and because it's elevated since there's no 45 on the other side you can just slide in the 35 plate like i just did then for the other side you stick it in a little the bar and then you lift up the entire bar with the plate and slide it in like that that can be kind of challenging but i find that the motion helps me push the plate in i just hate that frictiony feeling when you're trying to put the 45 on the ground. Once you're at your last plate, you're gonna wanna go and grab a smaller plate. So I'm just getting a five pound plate and then you wanna put it right next to the 45 pound. And then you're gonna kinda roll the bar with the 45 on top of that plate to sort of elevate it so that you can easily slide on your last plate. And that is the basic setup. Hopefully that makes sense. Alrighty, so now we're going to move on to the actual workout. So I start off all my leg days with compound movements. So these are just workouts that involve multiple parts of your body. So some examples would be hip thrusts, deadlifts, and squats. So on this day and on both of my leg days, I start off with cast glute bridges. So for cast glute bridges, the form is going to be a little bit different. There is a shorter range of motion and i'm not letting the plates touch the ground so you can see that there is a very small range of motion and these are just some pointers that i feel like help me remember how to keep a good form as in doing the workout after our warm-up set we're going to be resting before moving on to our working set and for our working sets we're going to be doing three sets of eight so i thought it would be helpful to explain to you guys what three sets of eight mean for me at least so when i'm picking a weight to do in this range reps one through five are going to be doable and then reps six through eight they're also going to be doable but still challenging myself and pushing myself while maintaining good form For our next compound movement, we're going to be doing RDLs or Romanian deadlifts. So here you can see that I'm using the wrist straps I showed you guys earlier. The wrist straps really help me carry the load better and it just helps me overall lift heavier because the emphasis is less on my arms and more on my glutes and my legs. So that's why I love using the wrist straps. So for this, I'm not doing any warm-up set and I'm keeping the three sets of eight that we talked about earlier. And for this, I'm having a big emphasis on the knee bend to bias my glutes over my hamstrings. If you don't bend your knee as much, you're still working out your glutes, but a lot of it is going to be working out your hamstrings. So I just make sure that I have a deeper knee bend than I usually would for like regular RDLs. I'm still figuring out a way to maintain good form, especially through my lower back. Naturally, I kind of have a curve in my back, so it's hard for me to maintain a straight line from my head to my butt but that is definitely something that i strive for and it is in good form and these are killer after compound movements we're going to move on to unilateral movements which are just workouts that use one leg at a time so some examples would be split squats or lunges and today i'm doing some front foot elevated reverse lunges The last part of our leg day is going to involve isolation exercises. So these are just workouts that target a specific area of your glutes. So on the screen, you see some examples. Right now I'm doing a glute medius kickback with the cable machine. You basically wanna kick back at a 45 degree angle to target the side of your glutes. And that is one of the isolation exercises I do. And then for my last exercise of the day, I usually do this second to last and the kickbacks last, but this is just the order that I went in this day. So for glute bias back extensions, you're going to want to round your back as much as possible. It's a really small range of motion and you're pressing your hips into the pads, kind of like a hip thrust, but obviously in a different direction. For these, you just wanna make sure you keep your back rounded so you're targeting your glutes as much as possible. 
rather than your back. And we finally have reached the end of the workout. And I usually like to push myself with a little couple extra reps with just my body weight. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please do subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.